white, yellow. So to our second quarter final of the evening, and it's women's doubles. And the three time defending champions, of course, former world champion as well, Wong Xiaomi and Yu Young, from China, up against the European champions, number four seeds, Christina Thiersen and Camilla Rodeo. This will be the seventh meeting between these two pairs. Richard Ting of Singapore is our on par for this one. Toss of the coin complete. Of course, the Danes are left handed and right handed combination. Always very effective in doubles. So, might be a bit of a surprise that the former world champions and defending champions here are only the number five seeds here in the women's doubles. We will continue. They haven't been playing many tournaments because of injury woes. Five finals from six tournaments, though. Uh, this uh, year and there you can see the draw three Chinese pairs two Japanese in the quarterfinal stage one blue, one, a Dane and one Indonesian pair as well so there is the former world mixed doubles champion Camilla Orutio 30 years of age so she'll turn 31 later this month from Skagen number four seeds but their world ranking of three now this is actually their third consecutive quarterfinal here at the china open and their win loss record for the year two finals from 12 tournaments they won the european championships retained their european title and reached the final of singapore as well and they have been as high as two in the world ranking. So this is the first tournament that they played this year where they haven't been seeded either one or two the Danes. So expectations have been very high and in all honesty haven't lived up to those expectations according to their seeding of position. The, the Chinese pair, Wong Xiaomi and Wu Yang, first won the title here in 2011. And and last year as well. Win loss record for the year. Well, five finals from six tournaments. That win loss record there. Not actually taking into account one of their losses, which was in the last 16 of the Asian Games. Now, as I was saying, this is the seventh meeting between the two pairs. And that is rather ominous if you're a Danish fan. Last time they met was in the quarterfinal of the Denmark Super Series. And of course, with Wong Xiao Li and Yu Yang going on to take that title, they obviously won on that occasion. The only time that the Danes have beaten their Chinese opponents were in the group stage of the Super Series finals last year in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, ready? Really does seem Ladies and gentlemen, say the four on my right, Christina Pedersen, five seats. Camilla, yeah. what are you? <laughs> hey. It's a, it a reverse of what we saw in the men's doubles. Where yeah, one Xiaoli, Yang, China. Christina Pedersen to serve to one Xiaoli. Yeah, it's a Lobo. very, very difficult match for the Danes. Play. Let's see how they do. Guys from Wong Xiao Li, 25 year old from One, Hubei go. province. Service hey. oh. over. Well, they've had to One, before the tournament has started three times this year the Chinese pair three from the Korean Super Series the Malaysian Super Series the following week and also Indonesia as well no 
the service shot. Service over. Go. One. And the short service shot. <laughs> no, we'll miss that. discussed in, in length uh, Three, one. on previous occasions you know, the Chinese combination whether that's going to be split up or whether Yu Yang will be chosen to run the campaign for China in terms of the Olympics and uh, we have been very doubtful yeah but I must admit that you know they keep going on and they play and they win most of the tournaments they play so chances are that you, know, you and I, we might be wrong at the end of the day. Well, prior to this year's China Open, they played in 41 tournaments together, the Chinese pair. They've been in 34 finals. That is quite remarkable. Only seven times that they failed yeah, not to get to the final. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. But I haven't done an awful lot of prep for next week in Hong Kong. Okay. But what I have done okay. is notice that Wang Xiao Li, I believe, is playing with Bao Yi Sin in the women's doubles. So maybe that's a little clue. Maybe we get some there. Yeah, yeah to, to your Four, supposition three. that whether this is going to be one of the pairs of the Olympic campaign. Over for all. Well, talking of Olympic campaigns, Christina Pearson is only going to play women's doubles in the build up to the Rio Olympics. No mixed doubles for her, despite the fact that she's twice been a bronze medalist four. at the World Championships in mixed doubles and Olympic bronze medalist in mixed doubles. Yep. Her partnership with uh, Joachim Fischer-Peterson, <laughs> Joachim Fischer-Nielsen, sorry, um, seems to, to come to an end and she will concentrate 100% on this event. And, uh, that was a very, very clever. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? A good lift. Well, when you told me that piece of news when we were at the Denmark Open, yeah, you could believe it. Oh, well, it was one of the rare occasions I've been lost for words. Yes. But I think uh, since the decision has come out, um, you know, the mixed doubles pair of uh, Joachim Fischer Sorry, and uh, Christina Six, Peterson five. has really lost it a bit. You know, they, they don't yeah. have the same fighting spirit. They don't have the same commitment in what they're doing. And the results has, has suffered from it. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, they lost last night ah! as the number three seeds lost out to mm. Seven, five. And also in the Denmark Open, they uh, yeah. had an early early loss. Uh, defending that mid court area, and then she got caught in that drop shot. Hi. Oh yeah. Watch out, don't do that. Yeah. Wang Jolie is so strong in that forehand. And look at how she's covering it straight away, she loves it. Oh, 
this. Eleven five in double. A run of six straight points. That's not what the Danes wanted. Marzuma, head coach. He had a disappointing day yesterday, as far as Denmark was concerned. Yeah. 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 Another four and three to part of this women's doubles. And all four of them lost those uh, women's doubles, two men singles. And a mixed doubles. Yeah. Pot one, then it's again. Pot one, then it's again. Yeah, pot. So it's not been one of the best tournaments for Denmark. They have to go home and beat. You and I were talking on the bus. Into the As you always do. 11-5. <laughs> on a way to, to watch today's quarterfinals. And, and we were saying, well, it is disappointing. The uh, the lack of Europeans here on quarterfinals day. Yeah. Across all five disciplines. Yeah, this is the only entry. Yeah. No, no, Mark five. Sorry. You're right, Mark Sweeper, yes. So we got two entries. Yeah. Out of 20. Yeah. Well, we were we touched on women's doubles yesterday and the disappointment that there were only 25 pairs entered into the women's doubles here. Seven yeah. Six, twelve. Eight of the pairs from China. But this is an ongoing problem because uh, we didn't fill the draw in Paris. There was some first round buys because there weren't enough like pairs. Enough pairs. Yeah. And there were nine from France. From France. Yeah. How many French pairs are the women's doubles here? <laughs> None. Exactly. <laughs> and, I mean, we are reliant to a huge extent in this women's doubles Starting. discipline on this Six. pair that's on court right now. This Danish the, the, pair. The Danish pair, yes. Only non-Asian pair that's... Been able to challenge. Exactly. And winning on some occasions. And yeah. uh, th didn't they win the Super Series finals? They did last year. Yes, they did. Yeah. Service fault called. Service struck fault above the waist. <coughs> Service over. She'll Seven, thirteen. He's a busy man. He was on par in the last match, wasn't he? Yeah. So uh, the next one is off. Yeah. They do work hard, the court officials, so they do a wonderful job. Service over, 14 7. It's funny how our attitudes change, isn't it? Do you remember me as a player? <laughs> 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 Least said about that, the better, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> no, they do do a very good job. Service over, 8 14. So if the Danes are going to have any chance in this match, I, I definitely think their defence have to pick up. And in, in this, I particularly think of uh, Christina Peterson. She has uh, had quite a few mistakes Nine, in her defence, and obviously she's got to start picking up on that. If they want to match a pair like this, as what we watch on the screen now. by the Danes here. 11, Good attack. 14. And perfect interception here by the left-hander, Camilla Ridayul. <laughs> but that is definitely the favourite combination 14. of the two Danes when Christina Peterson here in the picture is, is serving because her serve is so good. The way she's able to hold it and she can 
play the low serve and she can flick it as what we just saw but she can also change the low serve to play into the tee but also serve wide which makes it so difficult to attack and what a comeback here from the danes i think they were 8 14 down and now 7 14 down yeah and now it's 13 14 so this is a very nice comeback The desire anymore. I think she's emphatically answered my my questions and my doubts. Yeah, I think she's she's working hard at yeah. it. She wants to win. But having said that as well, she is not as good as what she was a few years ago. Honestly, she's yeah. not. But again, once again, we are talking about finer, finer details. Yes. <laughs> so don't get us wrong. I, I was uh, there in uh, in Taipei when they played the final against the uh, the two Indonesians, uh, Gracia Poli and her partner. And, uh, the Aswari. Yes, and the Indonesian pair won quite easily in two games, and that was 15, because 17. a lot of pressure was played on on Yu Yang, and she simply just couldn't take it she made too many mistakes and she was very agitated and uh, not happy with the situation and i think the indonesians played a very very clever tactical game they really really did She has good vision, doesn't she? Young. Yeah. But one of the few weeks, the weaknesses in the in the Danish combination as well is the fact that uh, the player at the net tends to cover a little bit too little. It's too simple to see where they're standing and then just guiding the shuffle in in the opposite direction, and uh, it will force the one at the back to have to cover that. Uh, that's adding on lots of pressure. So game point opportunities. And that's out. So yeah, over the net. Game. Oh, how did they back? Good First fight game back. One by. One six straight Yang. points from 7-14 down 15. to get back to within a point of their opponents. Uh, they yeah. fell away a little. Well, perhaps that's un unfair. Perhaps the Chinese pair just up to their intensity. But 21-15. Which looks fairly comfortable. For a, a woman's doubles, where we're used to having long, long games and all that, is. Uh, 15 in just 15 minutes, which is uh, rather unusual.
Hot one, 20 second. Hot one, 20 second. Uh, Camila? Camila, you see, huh? Okay, ready? Second game, level. Play. So the umpire starts, calls for the start of the second game. And for Danish fans, who will be concerned right now, I should just remind you that in their first One match love. yesterday, because of course all seeded pairs got a bye in the first round, so both these pairs have only played one previous match. And the Danes against Shizuka Matsuo and Manu Nato. What's the opening game there before coming back to win? So. Over. They will One, have the belief oh. that they could do so again. The last three times these two pairs have met each other, it's gone the full distance. So I suppose that as well, Morton, is a bit of a, a psychological boost to the Danes, knowing that, you know, we've pushed them close. It can be done. Yeah. Hi. But somehow, Service over. I don't think it will Two. happen today. One. Why? Are, are you looking at body language of the of the Danes, or you don't think there's enough spark? Or you see, well, uh, when if the Danes are going to be able to win against this very very good Chinese pair, first of all, they need to be really fired. Second of all, they need to be prepared to work these very very long rallies. Yeah. And and you know stay with their opponents and. and them and work with them and score points and hard hitting and all that. But I don't see it. We, when I say we, the Danes play the game, but somehow mistakes are creeping in quite early in, in the rallies and uh, they make too many mistakes and, and we don't see that very, very hard fight as what we see when they, they are up against the Chinese pair and really winning against them. Yeah, but this rally must. This is very encouraging. Yeah, very encouraging. Much better. Champion with Du Jing. In fact, she's been at the final here at the China Open with Du Jing a couple of times as well. And she had a good record here. Yeah. Serve you were talking about in the opening game. Absolutely, she does it so well. Mistakes here by the Danes. There is the lift out of the court. 
Anthony Miller. Really? Two mistakes from Christina Peterson here. Short, yep, well left. But it's just that adding on to my point I was trying to make before. That's if the Danes are going to win the rally, somehow have to look different to yeah. what we're seeing today. She is then there is a mistake in her defense in our a straight mistake on the service return. Really fine, desperately unlucky. It wasn't going over, but I think it could have been a winner, a straight winner. That's a defensive shot. Hey! Seven of the last eight Seven, points six. now to the Chinese pair. Yes, it was five three. Yeah. To the mid-game interval, the defending champions with a healthy lead again. Chinese camp is looking quite relaxed and you see the coaches leaving the court so soon means that uh, they're fairly comfortable and they really know what to do and what tactics to apply. On the other hand, the Danish pair is using all their lot of time. Lazaro is still on the court, so obviously they use as much time as possible to try to talk it through and see if they can find ways of really breaking the trend here. 11 seconds, play. Well, you obviously know them much better than I do, so do you think Lars has been given, giving them uh, encouragement as much as anything, or will he have given them one or maybe two specific tactical things to really focus in on? Or perhaps a bit of both. Knowing last, I think it will go on, on the on the tactical approach. Yeah. Um, you know, when whenever we see him, that seems to be be the case. Um, somehow, I think it's much more important that they they find a little bit of belief that this can be done, because otherwise, as we see now, the train is simply just running away yeah. from them, and. Uh, they just have to believe that they can do it. It's, it's much more in the mind Seven, than anything else. Yeah. Well, that run finally comes to an end, but... Yeah, what a run. Yeah. Playing long too. Yeah, they're playing with the drift. It doesn't make it any easier. Service over, 14-7. Oh, that's out as well. 
in seven. 12 of 14 points. Comes out. Thing, I think to see if they can save some pride and get better scores than what they have at the moment. Service over. Yeah, 17 looks eight. disappointed. It's understandable. Yeah, I, I don't know, but you know, body language wise, and obviously a little bit of lip reading and so on. That I, I think it's a, it, it doesn't matter what we do. It's just all going wrong. Fair for me to say approach this match, but you recognized very early on it was not going to be their day. Yes. Now, if you can recognize that, opponents can recognize that. And for a, a pair that's been so highly ranked, so successful, of course we all have bad days. Mm. You know, but this is Sorry, this is disappointing. Eight in nine. Yeah, but uh, you know, I, th I think obviously it's disappointing to us watching it, but I can guarantee it. That is just as disappointing, or even more, for the two players. Sure, they, they they will feel devastated after this one. Yeah. But it just goes back to whatever we discussed before. Um, that you know, Christina has decided to to opt out of the mixed doubles and uh, solely concentrating on this women's doubles. They have to start finding the answers when they play against. Uh, Chinese combinations like this, they have to find a way of playing, setting them up in a in a better possible way. Because if they just just inverted commas carry on like what they do, it's really really difficult to see how they can beat these pairs. Yeah, so that's it. They have to be uh, more inventive. We have uh, 11 match points here, 29 off the first one of asking is 21 nine. So. The scores 21 15, 21 9 for the two Chinese, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang. Just a fraction over 30 minutes. Yes, very, very short match. Well, all one credit to the defending Wang champions Yali. because they are extremely positive nine. today.
So after that women's doubles, we turn our attention to men's singles. And I can tell you, we're only looking at the bottom half of the draw there. But at quarter-final stage, there are four left-handers. That's pretty unusual. Two of them are facing off here.